A backyard pool in Winneka, Illinois, marks the beginning of an incredible journey. It is the story of a swimmer who has shocked everyone, including his family. When he started at seven years old, he was a state champ at 10, but did we think Olympics? No. no. <laughs> Jeannie Dwyer, a former All-American swimmer at Florida State, has been giving swimming lessons in her pool for nearly 20 years. But it is one of her first students, her son Connor, who is now in the national spotlight. Down there in lane five. What a battle for the second spot. Dwyer made the Olympic team by placing second in the 400 meter freestyle and fourth in the 200 meter freestyle at the qualifiers in Omaha, Nebraska. His entire family, including his brothers PJ and Brendan, were watching anxiously from the stands. So he always comes back from behind, and you never know if he's actually going to fully pull it off. And he came back in the last lap and did it, and it was really special. I'd say we've changed the swimming world with our, uh, with our enthusiasm for Connor. <laughs> a late bloomer. That may be the best way to describe both Dwyer's style and career. When he graduated high school, he was only 5'11". Two years later, he stood at 6'5", and was named the NCAA Swimmer of the Year at the University of Florida. Dwyer's road to the Olympics began here at Loyola Academy, where he not only swam, but played water polo. He liked to see what he could do in practice, you know, challenge himself every day, try something new, which is a coach's dream. We have a long and storied tradition of, of good swimming back here, but we've never had an Olympia before. It's, it's something special. Dwyer's coaches and friends have scheduled viewing parties for his two events. Meanwhile, 30 members of the Dwyer family will be headed to London on Thursday to see Connor on the global stage. Patrick Heckinger, NBC5.